Alrighty, hello everyone, Padman47 here, and welcome uh, back to another FNAF movie cosplay update. I have a deadline now to finish this. Um, and it's not a deadline by choice, it's a deadline, well, kind of by choice, but not really. Uh, our deadline to get this done is October. October 1st. Now, by the time... Uh, this video goes up, which either will be uh, the 23rd or the, tw yeah, probably the 23rd, maybe the 24th if I'm feeling lazy. But, um, yeah, meaning I have seven days to get, I have one full week to get this done. Yeah, September only has 30 days, I think. Don't quote me on that. But everything's printed. And I've started furring more of the costume. There's the right leg. It's just kind of balancing on itself. Nothing's really holding it up. And I have the kneecap, which will go like there. But I'm going to attach it to like... I need to find a whole pair of pants, which I'm going to buy. Probably Goodwill. Two things I need is like one... A long sleeve yellow shirt. And two... Um pants like kind of like jeans but like tan-ish it sure can be tan too probably be my best bet but I, I painted everything everything's painted and done and i just kind of want to show you guys just our progress got our eyeballs with our little iris things uh we got our eyelids which i kind of want to set up on the eyes just to show you guys kind of what this is gonna look like and these were a little awkward to paint with um i realize i'm not the best cameraman but these were a little awkward to paint with uh two hands such as why the ends are still black but if i was smart i would have printed this out of yellow material but the eyes are done the hands are done i found these gloves at walmart believe it or not i think they work really well with the whole um not um assembly line style i'm going with these um let's see i got a new right side of the pelvis reprinted so it's going to go with this, the unmarked uh, left half of the pelvis, which, you know, this would have worked too. If you guys don't remember, uh, this ran out of filament like halfway through the print, and then it moved. So, I mean, this would work if this also wasn't the left half. So we'll set this on the chair here for right now. And then here's the uh, right half. What happened to it was uh, my extruder head was um, clogged and it was skipping as so it didn't pour out the sides and destroy the whole thing. And it is very flimsy, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but let's see if I can get them at least balanced. I can probably glue these two together. Or something. Hold on, guys. There we go. They hold each other up, which is pretty, pretty cool, I guess. And then this will hold that up. So they are very, very temperamental. Which I'm probably gonna move this along that back wall there. Like move the Titanic box probably into the dark room of scariness. And downwards, oh, here, here's the uh, other piece. Only the supports failed. Everything else is good. So I'm going to remove the supports and fur that. So that's going to be fun. I just got to clean that up. I might do that uh, tomorrow night. I've been setting aside like a two hour, two and a half hours to uh, do this every night. So we've got our torso pieces down there. I've got Velcro uh, coming but I'm going to, uh, to attach it on the back. And the fur in the front is what's going to hinge it, so. 
And we're going to see how that goes. I don't know. Could be good. Could be bad. Maybe some elastic might be a little bit better. Uh, moving over here, we got the ears done. They turned out really good. The difference in the fabric really turned out a lot better than I thought. Uh, we got a forearm over there. All these pieces that still need to be furred. So that's like four, three, four, seven, eight, uh, nine, and ten. Well, that's a lot. But we'll figure it out. And I painted the teeth on the uh, the head today. So, I mean, it's still a, a mismatched colored spring bonnie. But if I clear my desk a little bit, you can see I, I just got done painting today. And I feel so, I'm so glad I don't have to do any more painting. Like... It was fun, but, like, it didn't seem like it was going to end. Yeah. We're getting there. Now, just imagine uh, this with the same color scheme as this. Oh, it's going to look so good. Oh, it's going to look great. Actually, this is the wrong side of the ear, so this goes, like, here. Which that would be a... Which I need to find a way to attach this, these two, together. Which it actually came with these, which I painted silver. They look very nice. Which go in here. I'm probably going to angle it. Like, probably like that. But if you guys don't know, that's a big gaping ear hole. So I don't know how to... Attach these. I might use some leftover foam over there. But anyway, uh, do you guys think I'm going to get this done in seven days? Comment down below. Also, more videos are on the way. More streams and all that. Uh, it's been great celebrating this four-year anniversary. And it's not over. Going this whole week. But I do hope you all enjoyed this little update. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Alrighty. Hello, everyone. Pat Master 47 here, and welcome uh, back to day two, count them, two, one, two, of the FNAF Spring Bonnie cosplay update thing. Um, we have six days remaining on our endeavors, and... I want to walk you guys through uh, today's update. So today is, well, this would be the update for the 24th. Yeah, the 24th of September. And I just want to walk you guys through uh, what all it is we're, uh, we've done. So today, uh, t since I've pretty much done, I'm pretty much done with the painting, I just want to take it easy today. Because I don't have a lot to get, I didn't, I don't have a lot more to get done. I'm starting to realize this. Uh, I have the torso, the pelvis, and two bits on each limb, so, but only the shoulders now, the upper arms for the, the thing, uh, one of the legs, and then the knees and shoulders, which... Not. And then the head is going to be the one thing I'm worried about. But uh, yeah, so I rolled out a new piece of cloth there. I bought three tablecloth-sized pieces of fabric. Uh, this should be enough, more than enough, for what's left of the arms and legs and possibly the pelvis. The pelvis doesn't actually need as much as I thought. Uh, it's going to be a little weird because I want the body to be one piece, but I don't know how that's going to work with the head. Um, so yeah, I pretty much just did uh, this forearm there. It doesn't matter which one's which, uh, really, until we finish it. Uh, I did the left thigh, got the right thigh and leg there. That's been done, though. That was the first thing I furred after I did when I started working on this again. I did the, uh, the left thigh. Uh, again, I do want to keep this central theme seam down there as, like, the front of it. 
so I know how to, you guys can see that leg has that central seam down the middle. Uh, speaking of pelvis, though, I did glue the pelvis together. Uh, it was the first thing I did today, so that's fun. That's all going to be covered by fur, so that uh, central seam won't be there. Fits me very well, though. So I've got very high hopes. It's more of these legs I'm worried about. Oop, the th uh, not so much the thigh, but the calf I'm worried about, because I can't get my foot through it. The heel of my foot is, my heel is just too, um, too big to fit through there. So I'm gonna have to, such is why I didn't finish the left leg. I'm gonna have to get my, uh, probably sand down the back of it a little bit or the front, just to fit my foot in and out of it. And uh, yeah, that's all I really did. I'm very intimidated by the body. Just the gluing together, the furring shouldn't be too bad. And the head. The head is the thing that has to look good. Or the main thing that has to look good. That and the body. Because those are the two biggest areas uh, you're going to be looking at when you... Um, when you see this thing so coming at you. Another thing is the teeth. This tooth right here didn't really... The paint didn't really stick. Like There's a little like smudge mark. And it's showing a little bit of the black plastic behind it. And I'm debating on giving the teeth another coat. But from a distance, like on camera, you can't really tell. But in person, that is a lot more noticeable. So I'm debating on that one. Other than that, though, I should... I think that's it for this little update. Again, not too much to update because I didn't really want to... Uh, I wanted to take more of a, a, a breather, plus I am very tired. I didn't realize how tired I was till I actually got up here, and I've been fighting sleep ever since I got up here, but yeah, I just wanted to do, I honestly wanted to do an update every day uh, on this until October, so we're going to be at least getting one of these per day, just so you guys know. Um, yeah, and actually I'm filming this uh, right after like early in the morning of the day I post this, so like, it's great. It's great. I'm gonna move this so I don't accidentally step on it and snap it in half again. Not even, I don't know why I said again, I didn't do it the first time, but that's gonna be fun because, you know, I only have to cover, the, there's not as much surface area as I thought, like, to fill that, but it's gonna be very awkward for fabric there. Also, the teeth, I've had my ideas, I'm just painting in between there. But if that's the case, I'd like to cover this whole bottom jaw here with white paint and then a coat of yellow. So I don't know if my painting's done, but I did also think of taking some fabric here, cutting and cutting. Like, I get these strips every time I'm done with those pieces. I just because of excess, I cut off at the end because I like to wrap more. I'll go into the process of how I do these limb pieces on the next video, because I'm only limited to 8 minutes. Thank you, phone storage. But, um, yeah, I get these excess uh, strips, and I'd like to... I'm, I'm gonna cut them down thinner, and put them in between each teeth, and then the ends I'll either cut off or hide underneath the jaw. So that's thought process, too. I think I'm gonna go with... Probably the second option I'm gonna go with. Maybe on the top I'll do the first option. Just cause this already has to be um a lighter yellow. It has to be the same color as that underneath. Kind of I can shoot you guys bring over an eyelid. That kinda is the same color if not very similar, so I don't know. Um the right as soon as I'm done with this project, guys, uh, we're going to be moving back into the rock fire explosion a lot more. I can actually worry about other things to work on, like my movie script and the rock fire explosion and all other things. So, I'm just trying to get this done as soon as possible. But, I hope you all enjoyed uh, this little update. Um, 
let me know what you guys think would be a good thing to do for some of this. Because I'd be very interested to hear, like, some of you have a lot better ideas than I do. And I'm very interested to hear those ideas. But, for right now, I'd like to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Or I'll see you all tomorrow for the next update. Bye bye Hello everyone, Padmaster47 here, and welcome back to day three, count them, one, two, three, of our uh, FNAF movie project update. And today I've got a big update. I'm much more awake. I didn't think I'd be real inclined to do this today, but I, I was wrong. And uh, got, I got a lot of pieces finished. Um, stringy bits in there, but we'll finish it. Uh, as you can probably see, I've got the pelvis done uh, completely. That was the most recent thing I just finished. And I really like how it turned out. The inside doesn't look too good, but the outside actually looks pretty good. And it fits perfectly. And where the pelvis ends on my leg, which is um, probably down to here, I can actually fit the thigh piece on fairly well. So I'm not so much more worried about that. And pretty much, those are both arms for the left arm. And that's the right arm there. So the, all ligaments minus the two pieces for uh, the, the calves or the lower leg are done. Done and over with. I don't have to worry about those anymore. So that leaves uh, the body and the head is the two things left that need to be furred. The body is probably going to be the last thing we do because I have a Velcro coming in. Uh, it says it's going to be here on the 30th, which... I hope it gets here like a day sooner so we can finish this. So three days down, four to go. Um, oh, I also did the bow tie. Bo the bow tie turned out really good. And yes, that's fabric on the outside. That is not paint. That is pure fabric that you guys can see on the back there. I felt I grabbed this lovely purple fabric at Walmart. I just, it caught my eye. I was going to get something uh, lighter. But I really like how this turned out, and you can see it up against the uh, the yellow here. I think that's really going to um, really going to do well. And I'm sure you guys can see the other mess I have on here. I started this is unrelated to the project, but I started moving some of my Skylanders into these drawers. Like I really thought this was uh, going to be the perfect place I could fit. Uh, all six games worth figures in these three big drawers here. Because I have, uh, this dresser has uh, three small drawers on that side, three on that side, um, and then three larger ones in the middle. I'll show you guys uh, there. And I'm like, okay, these larger ones in the middle, I can split between two of the games. So Spire's Adventure Giants. Uh, swap Force Trap Team, Superchargers, and then Imaginators. I'm like, this is going to be great. I can fit a whole base collection in there. Yeah, I fit all my uh, Spire's Adventure characters in there. I was wrong. So now I'm going to do it a little bit differently, I think. I have a, an idea. But pretty much I have the Spire's Adventure ones in here. Uh, Superchargers and Imaginators in there. Trap Team and Swap Force in their own bags, respectively. Unfortunately, I sorted out the Giants ones, and they're out uh, there. But uh, enough about that. That's just explaining the mess. That's how much fabric I have left out of that whole big sheet we had uh, yesterday. That's it. That's all I got uh, out of that sheet left. I still have one sheet left, which we're going to be using for uh, the body and the head there, which... I think I'm going to split the body into two separate sections, like, I don't know if I'm going to seam it up the back or across the side, but I, I think up the back would be probably our best bet, like a solid seam down the middle, like even in the front there would be pretty cool because that's where it's going to split open, I don't know, 
but I definitely want the yellow, a lighter yellow, to be the hinge point of all this fabric. And maybe I'll even beef it up with a few extra layers of just scrap material because you would not believe how much scrap I'm actually cutting off in this lake. I probably should call, call it, be, do a little bit better on that. Oh, I forgot I need to do the kneecaps and the shoulders. Forgot to do that. I'll do those um, tomorrow, probably along with maybe the bottom jaw. I'll do I don't know yet. I might save that for very last though. But uh, tomorrow being day four, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. We're over halfway done, that's for sure. And um, day three just finished of, of this just finished. So, if you guys have any suggestions of stuff I could do, maybe for to hold the body together because it needs to be. It needs to hinge, because I can't st stick it over me like a shirt. I need to open up in the back, and then close in the back. And we're using Velcro to do that. So if you guys have any suggestions of what we're going to hold the uh, front together with, please let me know. I'm fairly interested to um, hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you guys are enjoying this, hit the like button. I know this, this little update series is getting a lot of views, and I really appreciate it, so... Yeah, I mean, like, really, comment down below, like, tell me what you guys think I could do, could do and could have, like, did really well or could have done better. Like, honestly, I'm open to suggestion. But I think that's going to do it for this episode of uh, this little update here. Again, sorry, these are just pure little videos I'm, I'm doing, so. Yeah, so I will see all of you tomorrow for uh, day four, I guess. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Crazy hand today. All right. Hello, everyone. Pat Master 47, and welcome uh, to day four. Count them. One, two, three, four of our FNAF Spring Bonnie cosplay extravaganza, a little special, if you will. Now, uh, today's day four, and... <laughs> I didn't do a lot of work today, and one, tired, um, I, I'm, I'm waiting for my day off tomorrow, it's going to be great, um, it's going to be fun, um, big problem though, uh, but enough about that actually, problem with the cosplay, and this is probably something I should have noticed um, a little bit in advance, um, while I was, um, doing the, uh, the pelvis here. So this is the pelvis piece. You guys have seen this, uh, yesterday. Um, as you can see, well, here, I'll, I'm actually going to wear, put this piece on, so you guys can see uh, what it is, or just what the issue is. It's stuck on my pant legs, so I push the pant legs down. All right. So the pelvis here is on. Let's see if I can't turn the camera a little bit. To show you guys. Oh, my hand's on the lens. Okay, here is my hip. Alright, I am standing. The pelvis goes to right about there on my leg, and that's not my hip. That is still my leg. That's just below where my belt right here is. So that's maybe an inch uh, away from my belt. Now I gotta get this piece off, just to show you guys what I'm talking about. So keep in mind, my belt, uh, it goes to about two roughly inches, an inch or two uh, below my belt. I glued the torso pieces together. Well, I had to print the torso in like eight pieces, so here is two of those pieces. Can you guys see a little bit of a problem? 
with the torso. Um, the top half, keep in mind, this was our, it was glued in two halves, the bottom half and the top half. I glued those two pieces together. I don't know if you guys can see, but the top half and the bottom half don't line up perfectly. And I noticed that when I, while I was uh, printing it. And I was like, or when I originally printed it, I was like, okay, well, that's not good. I should have fixed it there. But I was so tired of having fails because I had printed this whole bottom piece in one piece. And I'm like, okay, this can be great. I'll just print it like that. And then it ran out of filament halfway through, so I only have about that much of it. I set it down with the back. Uh, enough about that, though. That's not, again, that's not why I'm making this. That is overhanging. But that's okay. If I put it on, keep in mind, I am six foot. Six foot even. Maybe a little shorter, but roughly that is my height. Let's see if I can do this without accidentally revealing my face. Alright. That is where the torso ends. Where's my back? So, if you guys don't understand where I'm going at here, go that way. <laughs> From the distance between my middle finger here and my thumb, I have that much room which is going to be exposed on the costume. I think now you guys are starting to see why this is a problem. On the actual FNAF movie Spring Bonnie, which is what this costume is, I gotta get this off, it's starting to hurt. Ow. Also, my arms don't can't move around as well as I thought I did, they could. But I have about this much room, give or take. If you guys look at the actual costume from the movie, uh, there is no room. There is no, like, six, seven inches between the torso and the pelvis piece. So... I'm, plus the torso is a little small on me, which I could print it bigger. Well, here's the problem with this altogether. This costume is maybe going to debut in something. I can't say what yet, because it might not happen. It may debut in something that needs to be done by Halloween, which is why I'm giving myself the October deadline. And it is currently, what is today? Today would be the 26th, I believe. I can't check while I'm filming, or can I? Nice if I could. I think it's the 26th. Well, Technically, when I'm filming this, 26th, yes, is when this video is going to go up. So, I have four days to possibly reprint this, but bigger. Sorry, I was reading through my... I just got a bunch of emails notifications. That was fun. So, 
Yeah, I have four days, and which wouldn't be a problem if each of these torso pieces didn't take, like, almost a day themselves. Like, 12 hours, pretty much. So now I'm debating whether or not I'm going to get this done. Like, I'm going through a little bit of a emotional breakdown right now because after today i have three days i'm not really going to do much work today just because i have to figure this out a thought of what i could do is take some fabric and instead of tucking the bottom in bring it over Prop this up if I can. All right, it's not gonna let me do that. All right, I have the wrong side of the torso. Then I love this torso. It's kind of heavy, a lot heavier than I thought it would be. That's for sure. Uh, okay, that's not gonna work either. Okay. All right, it's not gonna let me. Okay, you know what? I can flip it. All right. So on everything I've done so far, I'll bring. An arm for an example just to show you guys on everything I've done so far just to get that FNAF vibe I have tucked everything in on every ends I could just to make it look like its own separate piece now my thought process here is I don't tuck it in and I let it drape down and use Velcro or something to attach it to the inside of this. That way it still hides me seamlessly. I just really hit my foot off of that torso. But yeah, have it drape down and attach to that so that it still hides me underneath. Because underneath, I'm going to get like a tan or so shirt. Much try. I'm going to try to get the same colored gloves, like a long sleeve tan shirt for underneath here. And I just don't. And then probably I'm going to use a pair of my black pants to. for also underneath here. And to get this attached so it's all one piece, I'm probably going to glue it to the the pants to the inside of the suit. Same with the shirt. Well, maybe the shirt. So, yeah, I'm just at a loss of what to do right now. Because, although that's going to cause its own pro I have to Velcro it. Because this... It's supposed to be split here. I split it in half for this reason. What I'm doing is... This side is going to... That might not work either. Okay, I'm going to Velcro it in the front here. Use Velcro to attach it in the front. And then have it hinge on the back because I realize that's a lot more surface area. I'm going to have... You know, I'd like to Velcro it in the back. I'm going to still try to probably Velcro it in the back. Because... I cannot fit my hands up through here and into here. It's too small to do that. So, <laughs> what should I do, guys? Should I just reprint it? Which is going to take so much time and effort, and I really don't want to. Or should reprint it but bigger? See, that's the bad part. I can't really reprint it bigger because it's going to look out of proportion to everything else. I might make it slightly bigger. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm a little out of ideas here. So uh, these three videos are going to, can the next three, the rest of the week is going to continue how it is. You guys tell me what I should do. Should I use like glue a sheet of foam or like cardboard to the foam probably better to the inside of that 
and have that go down into the, like, tuck down into the waist, and then cover that with fabric? Or should I do my first idea with just the fabric? And then you guys will let me know. Um, tomorrow, I'm probably going to get the shoulders and knees and maybe start on the bottom jaw costume because that's pretty much all i have left to do no i still need to get that oh am i gonna have enough fabric yeah i should i should all right guys so you let me know i know it's a bit of a longer video but i just needed to do this just to let you guys know like of course we're gonna have i think we're gonna get done with this really quick and of course we have problems close to the end so that's gonna get done very soon that and it's sibling over there it just needs to be sanded down a lot so I can fit my foot in there. So might do that tomorrow. But anyway, guys, I do hope you all enjoyed and I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye. Hello, everyone. My name is Forty Seven here. Welcome back to another FNAF cosplay. Um update thing day five that's right count them one two three four five and yeah sorry i didn't upload yesterday guys um i just got a lot going on in my personal life that i'm tr i'm trying to balance it between work and personal life and uh, these daily uploads for you guys and i was just, I, I just wasn't feeling it last night so i i was so tired and I have an email, wonderful, oh good, and it's just been, not a mess, but I, I just needed a day off, uh, regardless, today is counted as day five, I did not miss a day, because we're just going to be going into October 1st, so that, one, relieves stress on me for this project, and two, um, we're actually, we actually have a better chance to get it done now. Now, what did I do today? Uh, today, I did the shoulders. I should probably put the, you guys probably didn't see that because I didn't the camera on, but I lost the kneecap. All right. I did the kneecaps and the shoulders. And you can tell which is which because the shoulder is like twice the size of the, uh, the kneecap. Now, the end is in sight, because I also, it took me a while, I did the jaw. Oh, wow, that turns out very good, in, at least on this phone camera. You guys can see I covered the jaw, not completely, as I wanted the inside to still look like the head over here. I still wanted the, uh, the head, or the inside to look, uh, like... Like, I didn't want to cover everything in fabric, and all this is actually left over from the arms, legs, and, um, everything else. So, it was actually really good. This this whole piece is recycled material, so I didn't have to use any of that leftover stuff. Which is good, because that's probably going to go on the, the head, and then I'll use a uh, leftover towards the bottom. But yeah, it, it's looking really good. You guys can see I used little bits in between the teeth there to uh, make it look near seamless. Well, close to seamless towards the, uh, the front there. And then the bottom, which you won't really see, because it'll be up against the body for a little bit. Uh, I used material down here to that I can wrap around into the jaws. So that, I think that looks fairly good. And seeing as we have two days uh, left together, um, I just want to go over what we're going to be doing in the next two days. So I'm debating whether or not to do the body tomorrow or the head and fix the um the shins because i know the body is going to take like an hour or two by itself to do i also got this nice shirt from uh, i went to goodwill 
today, and I actually found a lot of good stuff. I uh, like this shirt. It's going to go on the inside. It's the a little bit either darker or lighter. I can't, I don't know what you would call it, than the yellow on the thing. So when it's on the inside here, uh, it's going to stick out a little bit, which is what I'm intending. It uh, shouldn't look too, too bad. But the plan is, we're going to glue that to the inside of here. I'm also going to get a junk pair of work pants uh, to assemble the suit. And we're going to stick the sleeves out through here, and we're going to glue these sleeves to the insides of the arms. They're not the hands. The hands are going to be there on separate pieces, but that way I can still move like my arms any which way in that, and we won't, I won't have any obstructions, and they won't, it also won't fall off if I'm swinging my arm wildly, because, you know, uh, yeah, and the legs, same thing with the legs, except I'm going to use a pair of black uh, work pants, like a pair of black jeans, an old junky pair of pants I have. That way I can also put on the suit, and it'll I know it'll fit me uh, relatively well. Uh, the shirt, I have my doubts about how I want to do the shirt. So the back has a lot more surface area for this thing to fold out on. Uh, with that being said, I was thinking about having the front detach and it swing open like this so I can put it on instead of it doing that. Because if it does that, it's pretty much only hinging on those buttons. And that's really it. So I was thinking it splits out there and we're going to use maybe three or four layers of probably junk fabric. I have a crap ton down there as well. The shirt's in the way, but... And we're going to hinge this, and possibly the shirt too, because it's a, it's a button-down shirt. It's actually a very nice shirt. Uh, but I, I bought it at Goodwill for like... Oh, uh, I spent about eight bucks there, so the shirt was about five ninety nine, give or take. Yeah, because that's about a... Uh, a Clue board game from 1986, which was a really fun find. It was only like three bucks, so that was fun. But um, yeah, the end is in sight. Uh, comment down below which would you guys would rather me see me do tomorrow: uh, the head and the shins, or the body. I'm gonna do. I, I think I'm leaning more towards the body, but I want to see what you guys say uh, because I'm, you know you guys are very important to me. So, I think what I'm going to have to do is make a piece of fabric for this half and a piece of fabric for this half. And then along the back, just like its own piece of fabric, which is probably going to use most of the last of the two yard. Is it two yards? So it's, a, yeah, I got this uh, Better Home and Golden pre-cut uh, fabric. Ooh. It broke off there. Uh, two yards there. Oh, come on, focus. Two yards. Uh, just from Walmart. Cost me about a lot. Uh, prop, I don't know how. I don't remember how much it was. I think I ripped the price tag off. So yeah, I don't. I don't know. So. Uh yeah, I, I'm very. So I have like another six feet, give or take, of fabric. It's about six feet by 25 inches, so about six by two, Alma, six feet by two feet. So that's a lot of fabric. Keep, keep that in mind. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of fabric. So, so yeah, we've got uh, four things left. Shins, one, two. Uh body and head 
and I think I'm going to leave the head for last, and I don't know if I'm going to do a day seven more as I do a did I complete this in seven days? Like, I think that would be more fun, because I don't know. I might do this and then see what I can get done on the shins and head and not do the shins during the day, though, because I'm taking a uh, <coughs> drill to the, ins to the inside. Uh, let me grab the shin here. I'm grabbing a uh, drill to the inside of uh, this end just so I can get my foot in because I can't get my foot in then. Which I'm kind of a little upset about, but, but hey, well, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I've actually been working with my dad on this project a little bit. Well, he, he's an ideas. He's been giving me ideas, so. You know, he's been more giving me ideas of how to put all this together. He actually gave the idea of uh, cutting it up in that seam that printed, but it doesn't much like our uh, fingers here, I actually just score the back just to uh, open them enough to get them around my finger. So, uh, regardless, all I know is by the end of this, it's going to look good. It is going to look good. I'm also might leave the body for last because tomorrow is the 29th and my the Velcro that I need for two things, my uh, personal project that I'm probably going to make a video on, and uh, the rest of the Velcro for this. Earliest delivery date was September 30th. Tomorrow is the 29th, so very well might have to be the head is what I, I do, la or the do next. Which, you know, not ideal, but uh, very, it's, it's not the end of the world. And I'm either going to take, oh, this little end, oh, these ends need glued. I completely uh, forgot to glue the ends of that. Did I forget on this one? Uh, yes, I did, so. I think I did it on the knees, though. Yeah, I did. Oh, well. Oops. I also found, um, same place I'm... My favorite game store I buy all my uh, Skylanders from. I actually bought some online now, which I found for cheap. I bought this, uh, they got a, a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Security Guard wallet, which they're zoomed in there. Which I'm actually going to keep up here for my little FNAF uh, thing. I'm actually rip the emblem off and uh, make it a pin, like how they had in the movie. Uh, spray paint it gold or something. I don't know. That'd be pretty pretty fun. But uh, yeah, the end is in sight, guys. I know I've said that a few times before. Um, day six might not be the 29th. It might be the 30th, depending on how I'm feeling, depending on if anything goes on tomorrow. So, But I really... Uh, the October due date, it's not a high-priority thing. It's I, I talked with the person I'm using this suit for. It's not a high priority thing, but it needs to be done. The the video we're doing with it needs to be done by uh, before Halloween, of course. So, uh, anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this update uh, part. Uh, from what the bottom of the jaw looks, though. Let me see if it's a little out of focus. From what the bottom of the jaw looks like, or the bottom jaw looks like, I'm very excited for the uh, for the head there. Plus, it's going to be a mix of uh, the lighter yellow and the dark yellow. Along with the body, I'm very, like, it is very different. Like, you know, the, I, I, these pieces have been uh, black for, you know, since I printed them. Honestly, I printed the whole thing and let the whole thing sit in here for... Well, I did the feet and let the whole thing sit in here for since the uh, last non seven day update we did, so which was back in August. So it's good to finally get this done, though. It's nice to finally get this on priority, and then after this is done, I got to do that video work. 
And I have so many ideas I want to do for YouTube, but believe me, guys, I'm working day and night. Clearly, I mean, it is night. I do this at, like, between the hours of 12 and 2. Some, well, tonight was 11 and 2. Honestly, more closer to 10 and 2, but... And I, I, I slacked. I had a little bit of break in between, but... Um, it's all going to be worth it, guys. I'm very excited to get this done for you all. But anyway, I do hope you all enjoyed this episode. And if you guys would like uh, any any suggestions on still how I could do the... Would you guys rather, rather it hinge from the back or the front? Keep in mind my limitations. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see all of you in the next episode. Bye-bye! I'll see you all for day six. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is your 47 here. Welcome back to day six. Um, count them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I can't do that on one hand. But, uh, yeah, welcome to day six. Uh, one last day from the the big finale, which I know how I'm going to do it. I already had planned out, guys. Um, I appreciate all of you, by the way, who have just come all this way to support this. Uh, it's it's wonderful, you know. Y'all are awesome. But I had to move th some things around. Uh, namely, there was a chair there. The chair is over there. My guitar, my bass guitar is over there. And that's what's left of the three meters of, well, that and that over there, that's the other shin, which I'm going to have to work at. We have our, I know everything's a mess right now, head under this piece of fabric because I wanted to save that. I'm actually use it for something else because I think that's big enough. And our torso down here, by the way, the Velcro, which came in two separate, uh, the hook sides and the uh, soft sides, came uh, today. I didn't expect that till... October, so I actually decided to do the body now, uh, the head last, which I'm very scared to pick that up because that is hinged by fabric in the back there. Uh, it's going to be hinged by that shirt. I don't know how to put that shirt in there without burning my own self because what I need to do is kind of put it on, kind of not. I'm, I'm going to have it unbuttoned on the inside, and then when I need to put it on, I button up the shirt, and then Velcro the front together, and the front flap with the, um, the front flap with the tummy fur, which is the yellow stuff, which I'm gonna have to crack open a new square of that, which is right here. I have, I have a little more of this than left that I do the other stuff, so I might use it for something. I don't know. I'll think of something, I'm sure. So, I'm gonna Velcro this in two places. Once on the edges here, which I did the soft side, which, ooh, nice and soft. And I have the uh, hook side over there. I'm gonna stick that to this side. And I'm Velcroing it in two places just for a little extra support, just in case. Uh, she doesn't like the hold. And if she doesn't like the hold, I'm not going to have enough time to figure out a second solution, which is going to suck. This took me two hours just to get to that. And that's not even done. I don't have... Let's see if I can... At least connect this somewhat. Well, it's good enough like that. I don't even have the front tummy fur, which it doesn't like to stay together right now, because, you know... I don't have it hooked in two separate pieces, and I'm hooked in front. Yeah, so that is going to be fun, but uh, tomorrow, guys, is big, big work day. I'm going to, well, I have to work till 7, which is what I did today, but I don't have anything to stream tomorrow. So, whereas I could stream tomorrow, I got a phone notification, wonderful. 
Yeah, all these uh, materials for my person project are coming from China. And I just keep getting emails that order, like, eight-digit number, has cleared customs. I'm like, uh, okay. But, um, but yeah, that's a lot more Velcro than I thought I was going to be uh, receiving. So I eventually decide to hinge it on the back so I can also put the shirt in and keep the back of the shirt in one piece and have the front, the already piece that's in two parts, button up, be the button up. So yeah, I'm going to move this item of this thing because I, I laid out the whole thing of fabric just to see what I could do with the body. And the body, oh man, I'd attach it and ow, it took me about 15 minutes just to attach it. And man, this, I know I'm complaining, but it's, uh, oh man, I can't wait till this is done. It's going to look so good. But yeah, tomorrow, big day, big work, working day on this. I'm going to... Another phone notification. Okay, I, it's not my email. It's my other email. Okay, but um, uh, yeah. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do about two hours of work. So I get home. I'll be working on this till from like eight to ten. What do I work Monday? Something. I'll, I'll figure it out. 8 to 10, and then I'll make day 7. Be like, here guys, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I still have to do. I have two hours remaining. Can I do it? Which, oh, I very well hope I can. Because I'm still debating on how I'm going to attach the tummy fur. Because that's going to want to curve in places I probably don't want it to curve. We'll figure it out. We're going to figure it out because we are big boys here. Roll with the big boys. Um, I moved the, uh, since I moved the head over there, the eyes are just chilling over here, which those are going to be attached last. Uh, the shins, I know I make those sound like there's a lot to be done there, but really all I have to do is like, carve out the front and back, maybe a little bit on the sides, just so I can fit my foot in and out. Uh, even if it's a little tight, if I can do it comfortably, I'll be okay. That shin's going to be a little more difficult because I need to cut the fabric off and then glue more fabric to it, which I didn't think that through before I did. At least I only did it on the one, so I don't have to do it on both. Uh, so yeah. Very excited on how the rest of this is going to go. Um, a little nervous, though. I'm a little nervous this Velcro isn't going to hold. And I'm a little, a lot less nervous because I can layer Velcro. I can do... That really hurt. Ouch. I can layer Velcro, though. Like, I can do that. Put, like, another layer on there somewhere and just be, like, super strong. Or anything, something else, which I might have another idea, but I don't know how well that would hold. So, so yeah, Velcro, and I need to think of how I'm gonna attach the jaw to the head over there, which I'm thinking of, like popsicle sticks. Honestly, I'm thinking of gluing some pop, like melting a bit of the inside, gluing like popsicle stick hooks. And then elastic. Like, elastic and then Velcro to connect the jaw because I also need it to hold shut. Like, I can't have it hinging, hinging open. I keep doing face things and I realize you, like, motions near my face and I realize you guys can't see that. I'm talking really fast because I'm, one, very tired. Like, I... It's 2.46. I need to be at work at 11 in the morning. Oh, gosh. That's going to be fun. Oh, that's going to be fun. So I'm just going to take a crap ton of melatonin. I'm just going to not a crap ton. I'm going to take a little bit of melatonin. And be up. That's going to be fun. Oh, I'm going to hate it. Oh, I'm going to hate it. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, I don't really have any more, much more to say. I know last episode was a big 
big deal. I mean, these these videos, you know how it goes. You guys worry about like the first video, second video, you know everything, and then like these five and six don't really get that much attention. But I already know how I'm going. And then when we're all done with this project, like after day seven, I'm gonna edit them all together and do the end and answer the question. Did I get this done in seven days? But answer is I'm about a 50-50 right now, depending on how much longer that takes. Pointing at the wrong thing. Depending on how much longer that takes. And if I actually have a dr the drill thing for that and that. And how long that takes. That won't take too long. That'll take maybe 15 minutes maybe 20 if I run into some issues, but, well, to fur it, that to refer, maybe 10 minutes. Because I need to glue strips of junk, well, not even junk at this point, it's just strips of uh, recyclable, smart words, uh, fabric to the bottoms of it, and just kind of hope for the best, because I also don't want it to catch on fire, but I don't think it should spark. I don't think, of course, I don't know that for certain, but... Yeah, here's Skylander Drew again. If you guys have any idea, on well, even that would be a big help, like... Because I really like that display, but if I could get something, like... Like, right where that ends would be the middle, and then I could put my Giants characters on that. And the same thing for two more layers for... Swap Force and Trap Team and the rest of the things. But that would even be helpful. Although I know you guys don't care about this. All you guys care about is... Da -da -da -da, spring Trap. Or actually Spring Body. The Yellow Rabbit, technically, if you want to call it that. <coughs> so yeah. Uh, the end is in sight, though. And I'm fairly excited on how this is going to end. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this little update for day six. Uh, like I said, if you guys have any more suggestions, again, I read every comment, so don't think I don't. I read every comment. I even reply to most of them. But if it's just like something like... Just, I don't know. I reply to mostly all of them. Unless I don't, which I'm sorry if I don't, but I usually do. So, yeah, leave uh, leave some tips in the comments there. By the way, hello to some of my fans. Uh, I hope that them. Okay, we're still rolling. Okay, hello to one of my fans from Sweden. I'm sorry, I can't remember your username at the moment. But hello. Um, hi, this is your special shout out. A user from Sweden it says big fan which uh, hello is your uh, official shout out and we appreciate the support down here on the community you guys are awesome you in particular because this is your shout out but yeah guys I do hope you all enjoyed like I said any more suggestions you guys leave them in the comments down below and I will see all of you for the final day of day seven. Bye bye. Hello everyone, I'm Master Forty Seven, and welcome to the final day, day seven or seven of the FNAF cosplay update weekly update finishing thing. Yes, it's the final day, guys. Day 7. And I'm getting kind of emotional doing this video. Like, it's not done yet. Not even done. I I mean, it is pretty much 12 o'clock. But I didn't want to make you guys wait another week for this video. Plus, I don't have another day to do it. So, that's fun. So, a little update from the last time you saw me, guys. The torso's done. It just needs the shirt on the inside. The thighs, or the shins here are done. They're upside down, but I took a rotary tool and melted pretty much the inside layer down to the outside wall. So there's no support on the inside. It's just 
wall, and then fabric. So I can get my foot in it. I haven't tried with a fabric, but at this point, I don't really have time to waste. So I have all the leg pieces here. The two arms, which I'm going to move somewhere separately. And I found this old pair of work pants I have, which are, well, they were black, but they faded a little bit. See, there's a, these are lighter, these are darker. So I'm going to use this because it's going to make it look more vintage, I feel, plus not as clean. And that's not really the thing I'm going for for this cosplay. The torso is done. The bow tie looks really nice on it. I wish I could have got more of the folds out on the tummy fur, but we're going to have to live with it. And it's Velcroed on the front and back because I couldn't get it on. Um, I don't know if I said this already. I couldn't get it on with it just split down one side. So, I mean, maybe I could have gotten it on if it was split up the back, but yeah, too late now. So, yeah, there's that going for us. Um, everything's done and dusted pretty much. There's a lower drawer. I moved the head over here because that's the very next thing I'm going to work on and the most complicated thing I think I'm going to work on tonight because I have to get cardboard or something. I think I'm going to use cardboard because that foam is not too strong. No, so I have a couple boxes back here. There's not much light, but there's three boxes here. You're going to trust me of just three printed pieces and a couple unfolded boxes right there. And that's all like 3D printed like scrap, which I'm going to have to invest in a grinder for that just to make it condense it all down into a couple left, like maybe three boxes into one box. But so I'm nervous about the head. I'm nervous because this is the piece that everyone's going to be looking at. Of course, there's going to be folds somewhere, and, but I'm genuinely nervous for it. So I think my first order of business is I'm going to take uh, the fabric in between the teeth, like between these two teeth, get the darker yellow, and between the front teeth, get the lighter, because the muzzle is lighter. And then the ear, definitely fabric first, then stuff on the inside so I can fold it and kind of hide the seams a little bit. Because I'm trying to make the head look neater, of course, than the, um, the body or anything else. Because obviously that's what everyone's going to be looking at. And then after that, I have to find a way to connect the head and the body together and still be able to take the jaw off or not the head and the body off but and still be able to take the jaw on and off so i can get in and out of it and then after all the head's done after the head is done and dusted ears are on it i need to glue the eyeballs in the eyeballs need glued in and the ears are getting glued on. I don't think I'm going to make the ears removable. That would be cool. Then the shoulders, which I probably could have done now, need glued to the torso. And the shirt, which I'm going to cut up, needs glued into the torso. Which I might put Velcro along the back, like cut it up the back, put Velcro on the back too, and then still have the buttons in the front so I can at least fasten it. Then the pants need to be in the feet, or in the legs, not the feet. It's going to be weird. I pretty much have to, <laughs> I pretty much have to remove my clothes to put these on. Well, definitely the pants just to glue the it to the inside. Hopefully I don't burn myself. Oh, that'd be a weird trip to the hospital. Oh man. But anyway, I've got a long night of work ahead of me on this. I've got two hours, maybe three if I put myself to it. I don't know if I'm gonna get this done, guys. But um 
that's what we're gonna do one final video guys I'm actually deciding whether or not I got this done and then I'm gonna purchase a mannequin to like stand this thing somewhere this thing's pretty like, I can fit in it so and of course there's like a few touch-up things I can think of that we need to that I need to do so so yeah guys uh, the final video this will probably be coming out after we film the video that I'm using this for. Or before, I don't know which. By the way, guys, that's it for day seven. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this. Comment down below if you guys think I can get this done or not, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye Ooh, Can I do it? Yeah, my man. And thank you. Have a good one. You as well. Yo, Jerry, what you just buy? I'll tell you what I bought. A piece of modern art. Cool. Throw that thing out. Yeah, probably best not to do that. I did pay like six grand for it. Well, I'm headed out for today. See you later. Hey, I do whatever you want, man. All right, my pink puff ball. Time to close up for the day. <gasps> I didn't change my list. Oh, man. <gasps> this game's upside down. Gee. here to tell me this one's special, that cartridge is galore! That's right, we may be over halfway through Spooky Month, but there's still plenty of deals and new releases to enjoy. Take it away, boys! Whoa! $3 Pokemon card packs? Whoa! Buy one, get one free on the Xbox Rack games? And select Xbox consoles on sale to go with those buy one, get one Rack games. And 20% off all showcase titles? Except for Naughty Bear. You can't have Naughty Bear. Okay, you can have Naughty Bear. All of these great deals and more, only at Cartridges Galore. This is so much fun! I can't believe you didn't want to kill me! Wow, you suck at this.